What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today's episode is about a new company that I found called Acorn Amplifiers. They are based out of Atlanta, Georgia, the small company. Uh, so far, I've only played this pedal, and I'm pretty impressed with it, at least for the way it's done. And that is another fucking Klon clone. So this is their take on the Klon. And I got to say, before I finally bought it, uh, I think the standard pedal is black with white lettering, and one day I was browsing, uh, and I came across this all-white one, and I just thought it looked better, so I jumped on it. Now, I will say, I don't know if it'll show up here, so when the knobs are at zero, the zero is at noon, all right? Now, when you dial the, the knob all the way up, that noon position is only pointing at about eight and a half, nine, so I just thought it was funny. Uh, the knobs look killer on that pedal. There is a switch and it does introduce some low end into the circuit. Now, of course, I did open it. I do like to, uh, you know, peer inside and see how well they're built and things like that. And this one is done remarkably really cool. Uh, I'll throw a picture up. You guys can kind of see what's going on in there. There's a bunch of writing on the, uh, the PCB board. Uh, a couple of little sayings. One of them says, welcome to the jungle. One of them said, um, I dread the day that I have to redesign this board. Uh, and there's another one. It's a really long quote. It's really funny. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You might be able to read it. If not, maybe you guys should pick one up and see what it says for yourself. Uh, it's always cool to see how each builder, especially small companies, you know, put their own twist on boards and on the inside of pedals. I really enjoy that. So uh, and the point-to-point -point wiring that he did for the ground and all that on the uh, inside looks really cool. That's To me, that's a lost art. You know, that's how they did it back in the day on all the old amps and everything was all point to point and stuff. But anyways, let's get into it. So I think today we're going to use my Gibson Tribute. It's a 60s Tribute with a, a P90s. I'm going to rub that into... Dude, I'm getting so excited. I'm going to run that into my uh, satellite amplifiers uh, Neutron, which is 18 watts, two EL84s, and two 12AX7s. Uh, however, I did, I did adjust the tubes. I took... All right, so there's... I'm going to do a video on it later, but there's two preamp tubes and two power tubes. Um, it's all cathode biasing, so, you know, you plug and play on the on the power tubes. Uh, I've got some Mullard EL84s in there. Um, I have a EHX 12AX7 in position 1 in the V1 slot, and I've actually got a JJ 12AU7 in the phase inverter. And... When I first got the amp, I was super excited because, long story short, you know, it's one of my, my fun amps to play because of social distortion. You know, Johnny Wickersham, Wickershire, Wickers, Wickersham, uh, fuck, I always butcher his last name. Uh, Johnny Two Bags, you know, he plays them, and uh, Dennis Casey out of Flog and Molly, both of those guys, you know, love their tone uh, for that punk rock kind of sound. And um, anyway, so that's what it is. It's a satellite amp. Today we're talking about the uh, the Klon from. Acorn amps. They have an amp that I'm really, really eyeballing, and I'm hoping to pick one up in 2023. You know, I got a lot of stuff kind of going on this year with work uh, and some other personal things that are going to be happening. But um, you know, I'm hoping to get this amp that they have called the Gainesville. Um, from the videos I've seen online, what little bit there is, I, I'm really interested in that amp. So hoping by some miracle this year we can pick one of those up and uh, add that to the to the collection. So, all right. So today. The Klon, we're gonna run that into the satellite neutron. Let's go.
Man, this fucking pedal is insane. I really, really like the way it's done. It's not like your typical Klons. Now, I didn't do it uh, with this. I was playing with it earlier. Now, the bass switch is kind of interesting. I'm going to see if I can get it to do it with the, the Neutron. I don't think it's going to, so I'm going to have to do another one later. Uh, I've got some stuff to get done. And looking at the clock, it, it's running a little late. So let me see what I can do. I can't get it to do it, but um, I I don't know. It's maybe it was the amp and the and the guitar and everything I was using earlier. But um, what I do like about this pedal is is that low end. You can really add it in. Uh, I don't really need it with the Neutron. It's 18 watts. The, to me, the Neutron is, is a very very good blended or balanced amp. Uh, it does have a treble and it has a volume. It's got a high input and a low input, and that's it. That's it. There's there's no fucking, uh, there's no effects loop. There's nothing on the back of it. Uh, the, as a matter of fact, there's three plugs and it's a 16 ohm, 8 ohm, or 4 ohms. And that's it. And a power switch and a power input. Uh, love the amp. Um, <laughs> it, it's incredible for what it is. Um, and it's point to point. Uh, it's one of the few, it's actually the only, yeah, it's the only amp I have that is point to point. But, um, Anyways, so enough about the amp. Uh, this pedal sounds remarkably well with this amp, um, but I, I think I have an uh, idea, a better idea. I'm so excited, I really am. Uh, I have a better idea on why it's affecting the amp the way it is in a good way. It, it's a great fucking way. Anyways, we'll go over that in another video. I'm gonna do a sound check on it uh, because I think, anyways, you'll see in the next, next video I do uh, a little later on. So. Uh, looking at the time, I need to get things rolling. So uh, tell me what you guys think in the end. Uh, you know, what did you guys hear overall? What do you feel? Uh, but anyways, we'll catch you on the next one.